confidence interval for median based on sign tests. Learning outcomes. By the end of this section, students should be able to find the lower limit ML and upper limit MU by using table A.1 for small sample size and using the formula for large sample size to find the confidence interval and the population median lies on. There are two methods for constructing interval estimates of an unknown population. First, based on sign tests, and second, based on Wilcoxon tests. Thompson and Sever describe this procedure. David give the mathematical derivations of the interval. Hollander and Wolf give the approximations of large sample. Now we go to the step to solve confidence interval for median based on sign tests. There are the following steps for small sample size. First, we need to arrange the order of data given according to the values ascending order. And next, find the cumulative probabilities from table A.1 or we can build our own table. Next, we find the value of K prime. Calculate both confident interval by using this formula. And now determine the value of k prime plus one in the order array as ml lower limit and n minus k value in the order array as mu. And last, we can make our conclusion. Now we go for the large sample approximation where the number of sample n is greater than twelve. First. Arrange the order of data given according to the values. Next, find k prime plus one by using this following formula, where the k prime plus one is approximate to n over two minus z alpha over two times square root of n over four. Third, determine the k prime plus one value in the order array as ml and n minus k value in the order array as mu. And last, let's make the conclusion. Now we go to example number one for small sample size. This question is asking us to construct a 95% confidence interval for the median of the population. This table is about the percentage of patients who experience side effects of from a drug used to lower a person's cholesterol level. This is the solutions. For the step one, we need to arrange the data in order array as ascending order. Step 2. We will determine the amount of sample and now we have a number of samples is equal to 10. This n is lower than 12. So now we know this question is a small sample size. Now step 3. When we refer to the question, we want to construct a 95% confident interval, right? This, we need to find the value of k prime as observation value. Now, the cumulative of probability is here and here. Value of k prime will be referred by cumulative of a probability in table A.1 as below. Now, the cumulative probabilities of a k prime is equal to 1 is 0 0.0108. The cumulative probabilities is from the probabilities from table A.1. Now we refer to the table A.1. When the n is equal to 10, so our probability is 0 0.50. This is our probabilities. Now when the k is lower or equal to 1, so we have a cumulative 0 0.0108. This, the value is here 0 0.0108. Now we choose k prime is equal to 1 and k prime is equal to 2 as observation value. This is because we need to construct the first case and the second case. Next step is step number 4. First case, the wider interval and the larger confidence. Let's k prime is equal to 1. When k prime is equal to 1, the cumulative probability is 0 0.0108. Thus, by using this formula, our confidence interval is 
percent, which is wider interval. The amount of cumulative probability should be less than 0.05 as significant value because of the chosen interval is wider and higher of confidence. Now, step number five is the second case, the narrower interval and lower confidence. Now, let's k prime is equal to 2. When k prime is equal to 2, our cumulative probability is 0.0547. That's by using this formula, we will have a confident interval is 89.06%. The amount of cumulative probability should be more than 0.05 as significant value because of the chosen interval is narrower and lower of confidence interval. Now, when the k prime is equal to 2, our cumulative probability is 0.0547. Now, we have a 0 0.0108 and 0 0.0547, which is approached to 0 0.025. Unfortunately, we will not have a value of 0 0.025 inside the table. Step C. Now, we can determine the upper and lower limit for the first and second case. For the first case, k prime is equal to 1. Now, when the k prime plus 1, we will have 2. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Thus, the observation is second observation. Our second observations from the rank is number 2 and number 9. Number 2 is the rank for lower limit and number 9 is rank of upper limit and the value for the rank of lower limit is 2.6 and the value for the rank of upper limit is 9, 7.5 Thus, we can say that we are 97.84% confident that the population median is between 2.6 and 7.5 For the next case, case number 2 where the k prime is equal to 2 k prime plus with 1 we will have 3 thus the observation is third observations from each end of the order array yields as table below now we have a third observation looking at the third observations from the table first second and third now this is the third observations rank of lower limit where the value is 3.0 now we go to the from the bottom part, our third observation, first, second, and third observations is the rank of upper limit where the value is 0 0.7.3. Thus, we can say that we are 89.06% confidence that the population median is between 3.0 and 7.3. Now we go to example number two. This is samples for a large sample. This question is asking us to construct a 95% confidence interval for the median of the population from which this sample data have been drawn. This data is about percentage of total sleep time in stage 0 sleep by 60 months mentally and physically health males between age of 50 and 60. The solution is step number one. Arrange the data in order array as ascending order. Step number two. As usual, we will determine the amount of sample. The amount of sample is equal to 16. N is equal to 16. In this case, N is greater than 12, which is a large sample of approximations. Now, we will using this formula k prime plus 1 is approximate to n over 2 minus sec alpha over 2 square root of n over 4. Next step, step number 3, we will calculate sec alpha over 2. Now, k prime plus 1, we will have approximate to 4. Now, we count the false observations from each end of the order array. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a false observation, it's about the rank of lower limit. 1, 2, 
three, four, and this is the fourth observations, which is rank of upper limit. The value for the fourth observations rank of lower limit is one one point nine zero, while for the fourth observations rank of upper limit is eight point one one. As a conclusion. Counting to the fourth observations from each end of the order array yields MLs 1.90 and MU 8.811. Hence, one can be 95% confidence that the population median is between 1.90 and 8.11. Now, here, I have a true exercise for question 1 with the answer, question 2 together with the answer and question 3 for large sample with the answer now we can go to the website for applying non-parametric statistic 